If you own the Enet Pro Max Taiko controller, you need to watch this video. Did you know that there is software you can use to adjust the sensitivity of the sensors within your drum? Hello and welcome in Rhythmix. My name is Ikaya, a rhythm gaming VTuber that has a massive obsession with Taiko no Tatsujin. And if you're looking for a way to increase the polling rate and adjust the sensitivity of your Enet Pro Max, then this is the video for you. I'll be showing you step by step how to do all these things. So there are two pieces of software that you will need to use. The first one that is going to be in the description is a controller overclocking tool to adjust the polling rate of controllers plugged into PC. Now I'm going to show you every step on how to use this. The good thing about this is that you can only do this once and never have to use this again. Now the first thing you need to do is follow the link in the description that leads to the Battle Beavers website. You can follow the instructions that are posted within the download site as the full tool is packed within a bunch of folders inside of folders. But I'll explain how to use this in this video. You want to extract this file wherever you have this downloaded. Open the driver folder and setup.exe. Now this is where the tool is located. If you see a Windows pop-up that looks like this, do not panic. Simply click more info and then select run anyways. Now you're going to see this on your screen and this may look a little bit confusing because it uses a lot of generic terms for connected devices on your computer. The next part of this video is where you need to make sure your Ena Pro Max is plugged into your PC. You're going to need to click the drop down menu at the top where it says devices and select USB and look for the Pro Max's generic device name. When you do find it, click on the generic device name once then press install service. Once you do that, select the selected rate and change it to 1000 and then press install service again. Then finally, check the box labeled filter on device and press install service one last time. Now, once you've done that, you can either unplug and replug your Pro Max in, or you can press restart, which will disable and re-enable the drum on your PC. Within the rate column, it should say 1000, the B interval should say one, and the filter should say yes. If it does say that, then you have done this correctly and you can now close out of this tool. You won't need to use this again after this point. If you want to delete this, then you totally can. Though I would actually recommend keeping it because for me personally, I utilize it whenever I get new hardware such as controllers or other input based hardware such as but not limited to the Elgato Stream Deck. So now at this point, your drum now has a very fast polling rate, which directly affects input latency on your PC. And this is extremely important in a game like Taiko no where your inputs truly matter. But now I'm going to help you adjust the sensitivity of your Pro Max with this other piece of software that will do just that. The second link in the description takes you to a Reddit thread that discusses how this software came to be. And there's a Dropbox link provided within it. This is where the sensitivity tool is located. Download this and open the tool. You'll be met with this on your screen once you open it. Now this next step is very important because I can guarantee you that you didn't know that this was something you can do with your Pro Max. If your drum is plugged in right now, you should unplug it from your computer. You're going to need to press and hold both the up button and the switch home button, and at the same time, replug the controller back into your computer. Now your drum will properly work with the sensitivity tool. Now, what do these sliders mean you might ask? Well, on the left side of the tool are four sliders that represent all of the primary drum hit zones, starting from left ka, left don, right don and right ka in that order. I could be wrong about this next set of adjusters, but I believe that the output time set sliders represent your highest and lowest value of the sliders on the left. Again, do not quote me on that. This could be incorrect information. So I would say test out these two sliders and see what works with the left sliders. Now the mute set slider represents the amount of power it takes to trigger the sensors on the left. If you set this value too low, then this will result in false positives and ghost hits. And if you set this value too high, then it will require more heavier hits to trigger the drum sensors, and you definitely do not want that. Now, the last thing that I want to acknowledge, because I received questions and some concerns about this, your drum may not be the same as my drum. Now, what I mean by this is that your sensitivity tool sliders may be flipped. The high values could represent low sensitivity and the low values could represent higher sensitivity. So what I'm going to suggest is that you test out the highest options and the lowest options to see exactly how your drum functions within the sensitivity tool. Provided in the description below, you can use the Tyco Controller Tester website to test your inputs this will visualize your inputs, show you the total number of hits, as well as the input speeds without ever having to open up Tyco. Well, now you know how to adjust your drum sensitivity. If you have any questions about the software, you can ask me in the comments. If you want to know if the ENF Pro Max is worth buying, I have a video right on the screen for you to check out. Other than that, I hope you all have a great day, and I'll see you in another video very soon.